Hello everyone, welcome to another amazing video of PlanSwift and today I'll show you how to create the template. As you know PlanSwift is amazing when it comes to customization. You can create any formula, you can add any calculation behind. So one of it I'm gonna show you today. I'm highlighting a linear here but once I highlight the linear, Soft is offering me a cubic meter. This cubic meter I can use it for the beams, tie beam, lintel anywhere i need a volume it's amazing i don't need to use a calculator or manual sheet just one line and i have the volume if you are already using a plan swift so you know that by default software not offer you that let me give you the example i have created a new tool i don't get the volume by default software just offer you linear so to get the result in volume or in any other unit you need to create a template this is our topic today i'll show you in detail so without any delay let's get started okay it's very simple you just need to follow the instructions as i'm going to show you in this video so firstly click on the templates tab software will show you all the existing templates we don't need to edit any of them you can create new tab or new folder if you really want to keep it separate but let's choose the tool which tool can cover the requirement so you know very well it's related to length so we can click here linear software will ask you what's the name you can provide any name is it related to beam something related to lintel or depending press ok so your template is created now what exactly you want inside some calculation some formula right click in property here we can modify anything name color description anything so we need to change something in quantity because right now software is giving us the result in a takeoff some length that we don't need we need to get a volume here for that purpose we need to multiply this with the length and width okay width i have i can use this by drag and drop then this width should multiply by the height so instead of height i'm using a depth here add then concept is same it will cover your requirement no need to worry so i have multiplied these three things okay then form next time still it's the same but how you will type the width and depth so for that purpose you need to check those items from here you can see here it's a width so you can check width and you can check the depth so next time software will ask you both now the problem is we don't have the units here so for that purpose click here advance form layout and here you can see the units so you find out the width click here show units you find out the depth click here so software will ask you next time for the units as well one more change we'll do here we'll arrange it a little bit we can bring the color down now you can see here firstly software will ask the name then width and depth and if you want to keep it both in the same row you can click here width and depth is in a same row then press ok click here form and your form layout is ready okay now one more important thing click here advance software is still showing you the quantity in meter you don't need meter you need cubic meter so you have to choose accordingly cubic meter let's assume you're working in a region where feet and inches work so you have to choose accordingly you can choose any units from here okay so our formula is ready our unit is ready on the form you can see here press ok now you simply need to go back to your home tab and now you can test your template templates are always on the right side you can see i have created few templates before but today we're gonna practice on a beam so click here your name is already there main thing you need to type the width and depth and this information you can take it from other sources anyways press ok and now you have to highlight where is this it's here and it's here somewhere you can see here it's giving us a result in a cubic meter it's perfectly fine visually it's right presentable it's accurate and the result as we expected Okay. I hope you understand the point it can help you a lot wherever you need a cubic meter like beam tie beam or any other like a lintel etc now I'll suggest you to practice and if you have any questions or doubt feel free to contact me on a LinkedIn and if you really like the video and learn something new don't forget to subscribe and share your feedback in the comments because in the future I'm gonna upload more videos about plan swift and quantity serving it will help you so that's it for today Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.